Hey everybody, this is Icy Misu bringing you more of the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. On the last episode, we were able to get on, we were able to get to, uh, further on in the Temple of the Ocean King, and able to get a sea charge that will take us next to find the very next uh, uh, spirit. And with that, we can actually go on. Now let's just go meet with Lineback back in in the um, town port. So here, let's just get some jellies. Two jellies. Die. We got some blue uh, some blue rupees at least. <laughs> and the thing hard, but it's all right. I got the hard back. More blue rupees. Cause we can never get enough blue rupees. Uh, let's see here now. Oh yeah. Let's yeah. Let's just go talk to him then. Um, actually, this guy got his attention. Does that shape of yours has a cannon? Nope, sir. This at least louder. And you heard a guy from Eto on the island of Tulsa. Yeah, remember on last two episodes that I said that, that the cannon island uh, back on the cannon island they they can give us a cannon. Yeah, that's where we can actually get one. So now here. Okay, we're now going to show him our sea chart. It's a chart we need to sell into the sea. But we still don't know the location of the Well, blow it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although you could have not done it yourself, at least. But anyways, let's just blow this thing away now. <laughs> and after a few struggles with the mic, <laughs> I was able to reveal it. And look at that. That's our next destination by the looks of it. So I can get this mic right, finally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, look, I mean, I can you... Yeah, sure you did. Sure you did. I always had a sixth sense of such things. Well, we aren't falling for Limebag. You didn't know that was there. Don't present, pretend to do know what I don't know. Anyways, I'll bet the spirit's right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where we're gonna go. But... Now we can go on now. Yeah, he's gonna explain us to us how to get there. All the good stuff. And we're off again <laughs> to the sea. <laughs> now that we have a new sea child, I'll tell you how to go. No sea, yeah, yeah. So all you gotta do is just drag your pen all the way to the to all the way to the top, all the way to North Sea. But before well, before we get there, we're actually gonna go to Cannon Island, cause well, if you already heard from that guy, we can actually get cannons there for a ship. Uh, let's see. What else I want to talk? Yeah, I haven't uploaded this app. app nah, I'm only. <laughs> yeah, you know, just forget what I was gonna say because I just forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> there we are, Cannon Island. Oh, look at that. There's a postman, I guess. Postman. Hey, nice to meet you. And not like that. I don't want to greet you, but I'm here to deliver your mail. Not talking your ear off. Yep, the postman lives for special delivery, and your name is. Got it, right here. Um, isn't it Link? I'm sure I'll be carrying special deliveries for ya at some point. So I'll appreciate it if you didn't, yeah, no. Shoot me with a slingshot. Thanks for understanding. I may also need you to sign for deliveries. Thanks. On that note, see you around the sea, sir. Yeah, he'll be dropping off some mail, and actually, it's gonna be. It's gonna play a. Well, I won't, I will pl it will play a role in the game, but. Anyways, we're gonna go in this house. Let's talk to this guy, actually. Hello there. You come to Edo's garage, and that is Master Edo's shop. Okay, I'm Fuzo, his apprentice. And you? Oh, nice to meet you, Link. Yeah, yeah. What, you want a cannon? Yes, I do. Sorry, little guy, but we don't have any ready to sell. Not yet. Master working on one, though, so he's withdrawing to his workroom. Yeah, but I need one. But yeah, yep, he's gone and locked himself in there until he got done concentrating. Until he's done concentrating. If you really, really, really want a cannon, then go speak with the master. But the door is locked over there. You can go around the island to reach the back door. Dangerous, though. Yeah, yeah, the fact that I end up going through a temple right now, you tell me it's dangerous. I'll be happy to open the gate that leads to the rest of the island. Okay. Thank you so much for doing so. Okay, now actually we can go. Actually, we can actually go through now since he opened this door for us. Do do. Oh, jelly! Get out of the way! Not jelly! Out of the way! Running, 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 running! And in this here, where to be a voucher amid the uh, beehives? 
Apparently, well, what it means is that one of these trees is gonna have a item in it. Because if you remember back on the Maidly Island, we end up getting that big green rupee. In this case, we're gonna find something like that in one of these trees. But in here, we're gonna get ourselves our sea chart, our very first treasure map of the game. Just like back on Wind Waker. You're gonna find hidden things in under the sea, and actually, I like what they did to this in this game in particular. How to get the tr uh, the the um the, the 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 oh my god, I cannot even speak. The hidden treasures are gonna be underwater, and with that, we're on the bomb garden. Let's get these rats away. Now here, we're gonna get ourselves some bomb flowers. Yay, bomb. Now let's just wait for this thing to explode. Now quickly, grab another one here, cause we're gonna need it. Now throw it on the other side. Now grab another one. You can actually do this if you are fast enough. So now what you wanna take is the bomb and throw it fast, and we're gonna open this path. Well, wall, broken wall, uh, cracked wall, but near we got our first, or our second power gem of the game. <laughs> so. Now that that's out of the way, we can actually push this block here the way. Now let's just push this. Now second, you want to pull this one out, not push it. Now let's just pull this out of the way as well. Now quickly, you can now grab this one, pull it first, and then pull it the other way. Just like you see with that. Now here, let's just get these rats out of the way, because you can see right there, we're going to be needing a bomb. And with that, we're gonna grab this bomb quickly, 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 and throw it. And there we have it. <laughs> just done like that. Now here, let's see here. Okay, let's just throw these things out of the way. And he just blew up himself with the bomb. Okay. Now here, I think there's 20 rupees. Yep, there's 20 rupees. Red rupee. Now, uh, let's get this out of the way. Die, rat, die. Now let's just blow this away out of the way. These wall, I guess you could say. I'm not sure what you can call it. <laughs> now, quickly, you know, in here, and you wanna. Okay, let's get the shell away and somersault to this, and we get ourselves the big red rupee that gives us 200 rupees. Just like that. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Okay. Let's get these jellies out of the way. Get the blue rupee. Ah, jellies. And more jellies out. Come on. Really? Can I just get there to the cannon, please? Uh, I think this is... Yep. Edo's Garage. Alright. We need bonds for this. Okay. Let's just quickly run toward back to where the bombs are. And the easiest way to get it is grab this bomb right here. Well, get this right out of the way. Grab this quick bomb quickly and run through this because you got the auto targeting <laughs> with the uh, with the stylus it makes things easier so you can just throw it the other side of the fence thus breaking the boulders that are in the way some assault through the game and and we're here <laughs> I love his head it looks like a bomb yes yes I'm the owner of this shop Edo what do you want what? You demand a cannon? Yes, I demand a cannon right now. I need. Hey, hey, you impressed me. You break this dangerous island for one of your of my cannons? For a sea shrimp, you've got a good eye. Then know that my cannons are works of explosive art, craft from choice parts. So you better believe that you're going to cough up big rupees for this. Do you have the guts to hear? Yes, of course. Hey, <laughs> don't blame me if you drop a lot of rupees in my shop. Yeah. Ready? I'll say it. Get ready, guy. I'm serious. I'm going to say it. Yeah, yeah. Just get that out of my face. It's got to be steep price of 50 rupees. Really? Really? Yes, it is big enough for me to get the, to buy this. Stun, huh? Yeah, I'm not that stunned. But a lot of good life on this island. No one could blame you by if you can't pay 500 rupees. What? Where you get these 50 rupees? Yeah, if you don't actually have 50 rupees by the time in this game, well, I wouldn't blame you either. But if you actually get some other things in the game as well, 
you can just get get that the, the 200 rupees you just saw and of course this guy actually is going to give us a savage arm now for this arm this is what we're going to need in order to get that uh treasure so that's why we cannot do anything with the treasure uh, with the C, C chart that we just recently got and look at this we got some dancing mail just like a wing waker this is the letter from the postman okay and link you're gonna get this uh he's just usually saying he's just usually saying that pretty much this mail is actually working on me so now we're just gonna sign in which is pretty nifty and yes excuse my writing cuz I can't write on screen <laughs> now that we got the cannons we can actually inst have it for our ship and we can actually save <laughs> and go s <laughs> we can go to the next spirit Safe and sound, actually. Now let's just draw our maps. Uh, okay. But first, I quickly want to go to the Beatly beat shop, actually. Okay, be cannon, better show out to handle thing, just tap anything you see in the time, fire away. Yeah. It only, act, it only is going to show up until an enemy shows up, so you can actually just tap the screen and then it can blow up. And with that, we're here. Let me quickly show you what they have so far here. Welcome to the shop. Yep. Now, here we see this part right here. We cannot afford it because it's 500. It's a knowledge ship part. And here, this one is 600 rupees. This blue one, but we can't afford it yet. So, we can't buy anything yet. But I just quickly wanted to show you what they have in here so far. And with that, we're off actually. Yep. Now we can go to actually to the north and west part of the sea. <gasps> oh, excuse me there. <laughs> I just recently ate. Oh, we see this, uh, these sea traps. Just emergently, we're on the collision course, so two options, blast them or we can jump over. Yeah, that little arrow that shows some on the bottom, top screen, and yeah, that's what we can do with it. We can jump over obstacles, actually. And of course, the other option, like he said, that we can just use bombs. So yeah. We're off to see. Oh, look, there's a twister. There's a typhoon or twister, whichever you want to call it. And yeah, you just are right there. Tap. Just tap on the screen. Play. It makes things so easy to actually to use the bombs here. And I think there's just unlimited bombs as well. I'll, I'll actually get there in a second. So, I'll be. I'll see you guys there. Enjoy the scene. Oh, you look at that. Really? We cannot actually go through here. Looks like we can head up Norway. Then we have another way then. Which is going through that path right there you just saw. So, I'll see you guys there actually this time for real. Cause <laughs> so now we're here and this is why you're going to be needing bombs. You won't be able to go through here if you don't have bombs. So yeah, now now we can actually go through our path safely. Wait a minute. Hang on a minute, Link. Look. Could that be the? Oh my God! It's the ghost ship. That's the ghost ship. Uh, uh, it has suffered at last. The ghost ship. I can't believe the the the, the, the Link's eyes. Are, let's follow it for our treasure. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of trying to save Tretch right here, you know. Ugh. Now, let's just follow him and follow the ship, actually. I don't think you can do much to it, really. Other than just following it. I don't believe, also, that we actually have to do this scene, either. Because right now, we can, we can actually go through is we have to go to the island that is south of us, where we at. I'll just meet you guys in a moment, really. And with that... Come on, come back. I cannot even use bombs on these guys. And... What the fuck? This is ridiculous. Really? We just got lost by the fog. <sighs> so that means that there's no point in fame. We're blind to... Blah, blah. Okay, see. So I mean, now we have, we're just gonna go southwards, cause, like I said earlier, I don't believe you actually need to do this cutscene, 
but just for the case of this game, for just for the case of this LP, I'm just going to do so so I can I can show it to you guys. But anyways, we're going to go to that island which I couldn't even read what it was. But that's all right. I do love the epic music for it though. It's so cool. Oh look, land! Ho! Oh, an enemy! Octorok! Get out of the way! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that we can actually jump in this game. It's so awesome. Oh, look at that. It's that frog. Let's try to blast it out. There we go. Boom, headshot. <laughs> Oof, you got me. Nice shot, but why you have to shoot me like that? See you around the pond. Yeah, what he means in around the pond, we're just gonna get that to later because we're not even fur we're not even close to do it yet. So with that, we're on the island. That fast actually. We're on Molida Island, there we go. Oh look, we have some dancing male as well. We can't navigate through the fox, so what are we supposed to do? We can't get to the crest location on the chart unless we pass through the fog. What do we do? Do our sh nope? We're gonna find some. We're gonna find some clues here, but this will be it for this episode. So next time on Legend of Zelda: Phantom Hourglass, we're gonna find some clues on how to get through the fog. So see you guys then, guys.